gosh. No one saw Batako again battling after this one. What happened? Did he really disappear? <laughs> What's up current and future beatboxers? Welcome back to another analysis video with your boy, the one and only doing analyzing beatbox videos. Wait, am I really the only one? Beatbox analysis. Yes, I am. And every future guy is just a copycat. Remember that. I asked you guys on Instagram to DM me which video I should analyze next. And Emmanuel Gijo said, yo, congrats on 10K. Thank you. Could you make a video on Codfish versus Batako? I think Batako should have won because he did great in both the rounds. But Codfish kind of won just because of his second round. Thank you very much for the suge suggestion. If you want to be the next one suggesting me a video, just follow me on Instagram at MaddoxBeatbox. And also make sure to check my stories daily. Before I'm getting into the video, let me check out the comment section. Let's read some comments! <laughs> Codfish thinking in the last round, I didn't even know I could do that. Yeah, it really felt like he wasn't planning it, but it was straight fire. Codfish opens his mouth, Napalm. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, we will get into that with Napalm being a fanboy of Codfish. This is what Codfish beatboxing level is at. Show less. I mean, it's kind of true, right? He did really simple stuff, but super clean. So how to win against Codfish? Don't let him start. Don't let him finish. Run if you're against him. <laughs> You guys recognize the judge wearing a face mask when Corona didn't exist in 2018. So that means Korean effects did know Corona will come? Nah. If you are watching this in 2020, you're immediately in my cool list. Ooh, guess I'm cool now. No one, literally no one. Batako regrets doing the gun sound. <laughs> yeah, that was like the worst choice for this battle. For real. Batako, I said I want a battle, man. Codfish, okay. Also Codfish, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> Batako, I said I want a battle, man. Godfish, I'ma ruin this man's whole career. <laughs> well, fun fact, no one saw Batako again battling after this one. What happened? Did he really disappear? Batako, you gotta lose Codfish. Codfish, Uno reverse card. <laughs> yeah, that's tricky, man. People in 2020, in the beginning, see him with the mask, me be like... Time traveler. Yeah, I mean... How could he know that? Codfish doing the smart play, he ain't giving all his power first round. Batako did great, but he did a lot first round, not gonna lie. Ooh, that's an interesting comment. I'm gonna analyze that for real. <sighs> all right, guys, I had some great time reading these comments. Let's get into the video now. Let me analyze that. One minute 30. Damn, yeah, current effects with the face the mask. Sun, oh, the this is actually ridiculous. Sun. Damn, Codfish always so confident on stage. The cake, man! So Batako was getting in straight with a really nice intro and then the drop was really nice like the switch from the clean melody to this throat bass melody It's even like lip bass and throat bass at the same time Back in 2018 I think he was the only one who was really good in this one and then also the kick sounds really special because it kind of has some distortion in it, but it really fits nice to the beat. But then he switched from this part to a part where he uses his regular throat bass. And honestly, I didn't really like it because he kind of lost his energy a bit. His normal throat bass didn't have this much drive. <laughs> Yeah, also this This throw is not really clean this one So 
后背，这样。That's time. BBK with the Russian head. Oh my gosh. Is this the Russian guy everyone talks in the comment section? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyways, Bataku did a really nice first round. The intro was pretty sick and the first drop. But then as soon as he got into this part with his throat base, he kind of lost energy. Especially when you battle someone like Codfish who has one of the sickest throat bases on this Earth planet. You gotta make sure that your throat base is really clean. Later in the round, he had this beat with the slip oscillation base and this really nice snare. I'm not sure if it's like or Something like that, but it was really nice and at this time it was really original. Not a lot of beatboxes could do that snare. <laughs> and at the end he showed a really interesting technique with his voice and like a hollow club. But to be honest, I didn't really buy that. It was a nice idea, but the sound of it kind of didn't catch me. <laughs> So overall it was a solid round, he had a really sick first drop, he had a nice intro, but the rest of it, uh, he definitely needs to work on his basic throat bass. But also looking on timing, composition and stage presence, it was pretty solid. Alright, let's continue with Codfish. Let me analyze that. His voice gets me every time, yo. Don't Man, the groove of this. Oh. Not many beatboxes can pull up a groove like that. <sighs> Everyone is hating on Napalm because he looks like he's a huge fanboy. But honestly, the performances of Codfish are so catchy. He has so much feeling. This round wasn't the most energetic one. It kind of felt more like a showcase, but it was really clean. His throat bass is outstanding. His voice is outstanding. His percussions, he didn't use a lot, but his kick and his snare, it's like so full. His performance is nice. The composition wasn't really special, but the feeling of it was really sick. And I also really loved this little groove part he was implementing. So compared to Batako's first round, he didn't have as much energy, but he was cleaner. So looking on it from a battle perspective, I would say the first round goes to Batako. But for me, it was really close because Codfish had way more flow and was really, really clean. All right, let's continue with Batako. Let me analyze that. Last round, I'm Batako. I say the sand, you say the knee and the ichi and set. Is it Batako I said Batako? I want a battle, man. Oh. He's challenging him now. And a drop like this. Okay, let's stop right here because there was a lot of things happening. So I really liked how Batako was like confident on stage and challenging Codfish. But he wasn't really answering to something that Codfish did in his first round. But to be fair, Codfish didn't do a lot that you could answer to. So then Batako got into a beat with his special lip bass. But if you listen to it properly, you can feel that there's a lack of power in this beat. 
His kicks and snares are not punchy enough, so it feels really flat. I really like this bass. Yeah, so Bataco this time started a bit weak, but then he managed to get back his energy. From this point where he used his laser sound, he really got the attention from the crowd and the judges. And he also showed some really nice techniques in between. But again, compared to Codfish, his kicks and snares sounded really flat. All right, let's go on with Codfish. Let me analyze that. <laughs> I like the way you're working. No diggity, no diggity, no diggity. I gotta back it up. Diggity, no diggity. She thinks. No diggity, dig up. Diggity, no diggity, no diggity. I like the way you work, no diggity. <sighs> Guys, the way he was countering was outstanding. He was killing him just with this sound. I'm sorry. Yeah, it was kind of like, it wasn't the same technique, but the texture of it was really similar to Batako's sound. But then it was way more powerful. So he really killed him. Especially if you think about that Batako was challenging him to battle him properly. That was the best counter you can do. Batako used one of his really special sounds and Codfish destroyed it. <laughs> In this moment, I felt really sorry for Batako, to be honest. And after this, Codfish switched into this No Diggity cover, and the sound of it is just so amazing. I really love the presence of his voice in his beat. I think he's singing it nasally, but it's so present, it's like straight into your face. <laughs> Yeah, I really wish I would have this presence in my voice. Oh my gosh. No. No, no, no. She won a Standing ovations from the airborne. <laughs> Yeah, what can I say? For me, it was pretty clear. He destroyed Batako in his second round. Especially in the ending, the energy was terrific. He switched the timing in a really strange way. So for me, in the beginning, it kind of felt off. But then I realized it's just a different groove. <laughs> But there's better ways to transition in such a group. And also his technical part wasn't as clean as, for example, Alain would do. But the power of it, the attitude that he had while he was doing it, he was like a huge tank driving through a small town, destroying 
everything. So he was countering Bataku in the craziest way possible. So he was taking his sound and improving it and he really started to bell hard and fight this guy. So yeah, after the first round, Bataku I would say was slightly better, but with the second one, Codfish destroyed him in such a crazy way that the second round was really clear. So that's a definitive win for Codfish. All right, let's finish that video. <laughs> BBK. Yo, that's a battle. It's Make funny that everyone thinks he's general. Russian just because of the hat. Guys, he's from Canada. Good battle. Good battle. <laughs> Good battle. Yeah, Let's that was, go. That was a crazy battle. To the judges, who's moving into the finals? This side for Pataco, this side for Codfish. Crowd, I say the three, y'all say the two and the one. Moving on to the finals, judges in three. Yeah, so it was four for Codfish and one for Batako. I would say it was legit that Batako at least get one point because his first one was really sick. Give it up for Codfish! Damn. Yo, did you, do you see the love? And yeah. make some noise once again. Japan's Batako, everybody. Give it up. All beatboxers battling on stage are friends backstage. For real. Which That's a definitive thing. And that's a big plus point for the beatbox community. If you come to an event, there's just love. <sighs> Alright guys, that's it with this video. Quick and easy. If you like my content, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Also, as I keep going with the series, please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. That's it with this one. Hope to see you soon.